Good morning, uh, brothers and sisters. It's nice to have you today as we continue with our study of the Word of God. So our topic for tonight, uh, for today, is about the Word of God. So our uh, text will be found in Psalms 119, 109. So it says, The Word is a lamp unto my feet, and a light unto my path. So from the word itself, from the text, you, you could see that the word is the lamp. So what is a lamp? Lamp is something that enlightens us, that lightens our way as it says. So brothers and sisters, before uh, I'm going to share some you some insights and uh, uh, perspectives with regard to the word of God. First, what is it you're seeing? What is it you're seeing on the screen? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought it's darkness. <laughs> sorry, I, I'm I, I'm talking about total darkness. You see, when maybe some of us have already experienced um, hiking trip or mountaineering. Have some of you experienced that one? Maybe for those people who were who have uh, experienced pathfindering, right? So, what will be your reaction if, if after going to the slope, after reaching the slope of the mountain, and then it's dark, you are overtaken by darkness, and you forgot your, you forgot your flashlights, your lamps or whatever light source, light source you have. So what will be your reaction? It's, brothers and sisters, it's a dilemma. You will be confused. There will be anxiety because it's dark and you won't be seeing your way going back to town. So darkness, we have some definitions in the Bible. Darkness is the absence of light. Although the Bible seldom refers to literal darkness, there are also a number of words translated darkness as figurative or metaphorical sense. So, example is like this. And you have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. So here, what is referred to here are the works of dark, uh, this, these are uh, impure actions. These are works of darkness, impure actions. So, from here, from what you are seeing the screen, the word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. So, the word is a lamp. If the is a lamp, on the bottom passage you will see, commandment is a lamp, and the law is light. Since at the upper passage it says lamp is the word, and the light, and the light unto my path. So, meaning, in short, the, the word is the commandment and the law. So, he that he that said he is in the light and hated his brother is in darkness even until now. In the Bible, you will see a passage which says that if you hate your brother, you have committed. What have you committed, my friend? Murder. murder. That's right. And murder is one of the Ten Commandments. So, according to Mrs. White, in God's amazing grace, if we do not receive the religion of Christ by feeding upon the Word of God, we shall not be entitled an entrance into the city of God. I remember, or maybe some of you have already encountered this, or maybe have heard of the experience of uh, King Solomon, my, friend, my friends. 
You see how Solomon became the wisest king because he humbled himself and he follows the word of God. So the word of God is wisdom. And my friend, the word of God is the door opening to wisdom. Wisdom cannot be earned by our own effort, my friend. It is through the word of God. So walk while you have the light, lest darkness come upon you. So we have to follow Christ commandments so for thou art my lamp O Lord and the Lord will enlighten my darkness you have read the history of the Israelites my friends in the Bible because they don't want to light they want darkness you will see the uh, Repent rebellion, rebellion and repentance. Every time they walk away from God, these neighboring nations invaded them. But if they repent and they come to God again, what is the experience of Israel, my friend? They defeated in battles all the surrounding pagan nations. So, my friends, tonight, as we have heard about the Word of God, the law, and His commandments, if we want to have wisdom, if we want to live in peace and prosperity, I believe it is for us to diligently study the Bible, espouse the Word of God, embrace the Word of God. Friends, if anybody here wants to live peacefully, wants to be in prosperity, Please stand up as we say a word of prayer.